Hyundai Motor Philippines unveiled two cars today and that's the all-new Hyundai Stargazer X and there's also another car and it's this one right here there's slightly more premium seven-seater MPV that's about the size of a Toyota Previa or Honda Odyssey the all-new Hyundai Custom but before I show you these two cars they have yet another special release a secret release today and it is this Hyundai Staria right here so what makes this Hyundai Staria different well let's open the door now and as you can see before this top of the line look would only get seven seats but now you have nine seats and you even have the option of making them rear facing to have a conversation with your other fellow passengers now let's go to the hyundai stargazer x so the hyundai stargazer x is actually based off of the top of the line hyundai stargazer but they added a little bit more extra bling to it a little bit more similar to what mitsubishi did with the expanded cross so there's some trims additional trims right here by the grill on the side you have these over fenders too and more importantly if you go inside the vehicle what you'll see now here is the deletion of that weird gray material all around the dashboard you now have just a slightly more premium black trim now let's check out the custom for the Hyundai Custom, what you'll see here is a car that sits in between the Stargazer and the Staria. And it looks pretty damn good too. I'm really loving the look so far. So here by the front, you have this like very complex looking grill. You have Custom spelled out for you. Right here for your rims, you have Kumho tires, 18 inches big too. And the most important part about this car is that it now gets sliding doors on both sides, something that you can't really get with the Stargazer. So for those people looking for that more premium feel, this is the car to go. Now they're releasing this car with two trims, one that costs 1.770 million pesos and the premium trim, this one right beside me, for 2 million and 80,000 pesos. And what you get for this premium trim includes captain seats for the second row, white interior, looks really stunning, and you even have that same relaxation mode as you would get with the Hyundai Staria Premium. And you can see all those buttons right here for those modes. So this also does include the Ottoman. You have a dual sunroof over at the top. Here by the front, you have a vertical screen too, something that we've never seen in Hyundai vehicles. And just like the Hyundai Tucson, push button things for your gear selector. Digital instrument cluster, and for the first time ever, a 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline engine from Hyundai. This makes 170 horsepower and 253 newton meters of torque. Hyundai says that they're gonna give us time to test drive these vehicles later on, but yeah, so stay tuned for that. All right, so now we get to drive the Hyundai Custom in the premium trim. And it's obviously the premium trim because our two guys over at the back are enjoying their motorized captain seats and they have power sliding doors on both sides plus two sunroofs. If in case you get the lower trim, well, you get manual seats. You only get a sliding door that's powered on the right side, which is very odd, and you don't get your dual sunroofs. Anyway, now that we're driving this, I'm very curious about the 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline engine under the hood, because again, that is a first for Hyundai here in the Philippines, turbocharging a gasoline engine. And right off the bat, you'll notice that it is surprisingly powerful, yes. However, there is a crazy amount of turbo lag, and it's not because of the driving mode I I'm in. I've tried it in smart mode, eco mode, comfort mode, and even sport mode. There is still a big amount of turbo lag. It could also be the transmission, not too sure about that, but it seems to downshift on commando so it really probably is just a turbo other things you'd find immediately with the custom is noise vibration and harshness suppression so for noise it's pretty quiet in here harshness i can't really test it out because the roads here in the private subdivision are pretty good so you'd have to wait for the full review for that but when it comes to vibrations though there seems to be a noticeable amount of vibration entering the cabin you'll feel it in your seats you'll feel it in your steering wheel it's not bad it's not annoying it's not like a diesel type of vibration but it is definitely there handling tool so far it's not the best but again it is an mpv and the tires seem to not have too much grip when we we're cornering it around that faster bend anyway that's it for now Stay tuned for the full review wherein we're going to go 
even more in depth with this all new Hyundai Custom and we'll also probably review the Hyundai Stargazer X as well as the new Hyundai Staria 9 seater. <laughs> 